Hello everybody and welcome back to my Ark Survival playthrough where last time we had gotten the forge up and running and we're just going around gathering resources just some stuff. Hey, what you doing? Are you being that bastard that hasn't subscribed yet? Well, why don't you join one of us that have subscribed? As well as that, you might as well tune down to the description down below where I have a new subreddit called uh, r slash realm hq other than that back to your regularly scheduled Versus program just some simple stuff the oil uh trying to get some asking pace as well as taking on any um t uh tech dinos we can find that way we can go ahead and get uh the electronics needed well, i can definitely craft them with the silicone pearls also would like to keep the silicon pearls just in case things basically it's I see it as a much better opportunity just to kill uh, tech dinos than to actually craft the stuff so yeah anyway let's continue on well the fun part is I don't think I need the oil for the chemistry station I just need it for fuel which would be nice so the fun part is, is that we will pretty much be able to go ahead and start building or basically we could essentially look into prepping for a new base and I know I want to put mine over here because that's where I last put it I'll need this to get the place roughly secured and stuff like that as well as I'll have to figure out how I actually want to place stuff Usually, when I get a final base design, I wall it off completely. Because, again, I don't need stuff destroying my uh, stuff, especially if I'm putting farms down. The problem tends to be I do not actually uh, like think about how I'm going to make the buildings. So what I should probably do is kind of make the buildings just not care about walling the place off mainly because there's rarely anything that outright is going to attack anything that does we'll just go ahead and knock it though there is the technical worry of whether or not um, something may end up happening but to be honest as long as I keep as long as I actually do have facilities and stuff like that. There you go. Nothing back here. Wait, what? Oh. What was that? What was this? Uh, shrink arrow I can take. That's a iguana. Where are you? There you are. I don't know if I've gotten this one before. What? Oh, okay. No, I have gotten that one. I was kind of half expecting it to actually pop, and yeah. I'll actually have to do, I'll probably look into the notes when I get done with what I'm doing. Which is just, again, hunting down any, uh, anything I can find. Let's see. Yeah. 
Alright. There we go, alright. Do you have the claws in there? Alright, yes, so health. And of course, okay, just for the hell of it. Saved her ass. That's a monkey. to slay the monkey. There's the monkey. I'm thinking, because I'm going to want to tame a Quetzal later on. It's going to be so fucking hard. Because the only way to really get him down is you need to trank him. So the problem is you either need to trank him while they're in flight, which is relatively impossible for somebody on their own, or you need to trank them when they're on the ground, which is kind of impossible because they just have that good of stamina. Uh, I'll look into it. I don't think they can get bullet, dude. Well, they could get chain bullet, I think. But either way, that's still requiring a second person. Because I would have to get them, get somebody on a platform to be in a turret. Which, again, it's impossible to do on my own. Still no dams up here? I think this is a bad spot for a base. I know this is one of the other places. I think my main concern is I need a base that's again close to the fucking middle of the map. Which is why the one I have currently is perfect, but it just doesn't have the space to expand. Especially since the damn thing doesn't really have any building pla or building room or anything like that. Hmm. I definitely need to scout out places for the next part. I I really don't want to be over in the fucking forest. That place fucking sucks. 
as you guys may know from the last, like a couple episodes ago, there's a reason I absolutely abhor the fucking place. There's a tech. I'm just going to trink it and then fucking kill it. Can you... There's another pair of techie. Ah, oh, this one required two. What level are you? Level 81. I'm sorry you've had to been put down. It's for the good, greater good. Greater good. So that where are you, Carl? There you are, Carl. Coral. 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 Alright. So we fly through these parts. Did we uh I forget if I killed that Baryonyx or not. I'm pretty sure I did. I think there's a dam that can get created right between there. I can't entirely remember. I'll have a look at it right there. I think it's typically right, right around these parts. I don't see any. There's a beaver. Where's your dam? Ah, I knows. And I hate when those sneezes don't actually want to go. I think its dam is somewhere near here. They tend to guard their dam. I think it's like somewhere beneath me or something like that. I really do need to make a spyglass. What do I need for one? Isn't it just uh, a fucking uh, crystal and wood? Yep, that, that's pretty easy to make. I'll pick up some crystal. I really don't see that damn. Water. 
just need you that there's the dam okay so I was right there is a dam I guess this is just because it looks like it's one of the rocks might be why help it's not how you get away from me All the occupants should be dead. I don't need the wood. Definitely starting to weigh him down, so. I either need to drop the pelt I'm carrying or what he's carrying. Uh, or the metal. Alright, let's hit up the two other spots. There should be one. I think it's technically one other spot I'm aware of. It's just through here, over, and. Yeah, Dodo Island. That's the other spot. There's a trap. Where the fuck did you go? Okay, I completely lost where the hell that trap went. So, the trap, I believe... I think it's... Is it a tier two or a tier one still? I thought the quest, I thought the trip Jera or whatever, the trap. I thought it was like in tier two. I'll have to look over it. Cause I don't think I can carry like an anklo, but I also can't remember if I can carry an anklo. Keep an eye out for the beavers. I'm pretty sure it's just, it's got way better maneuverability. Like I said, I can't entirely remember. It's either that or it can carry an anklo. I know that Quetzal, I'm pretty sure can, again, carry large creatures. Though not like, I think, a spinal cord. It's more like it could carry something like around a trike size. Because um, the other one, uh, the event, or whatever the fuck. Yeah, the dentist, he can't carry, or I think it's the she if I remember. Den whatever dentist is, he they can't carry uh, a trike. They can carry an anklo, but not a trike. So yeah. All right. I'm definitely gonna need to tame a uh, sarco soon. The only one? No, I think there's a second one. Looks like there is. Typically they hang out near where their dams are and there's a dam over there yeah, what the hell are you oh yeah I think that might be the only one, because I'm not seeing any other dams. Let's say, hey, let's get an aerial view. Well, doesn't look like there's a dam that way. Definitely ain't a dam coming in. 
So I guess the cast the beaver is just really far from its dam. So, but I am aware of two beavers. They'll be easy to drink. Oh no, there are two dams. Okay. I didn't even see that one until over here. Okay, if you cannot hit me into them, that would be appreciated, Carl. Okay, good. I know I can definitely kill them a lot easier, but I'm... Eh, you know what, fuck it. I'm not ta planning on taming them. Ooh. That is not good. Do I have anything cooked? No. Fuck. I don't have anything that's not gonna knock me out. careful with these because I don't have yeah it cures all of them where the hell did the other beaver go there it is I didn't need that Again, why I hate the stupid uh, flying dinos flying around me. Okay, let's turn the night. There should be more than enough for that stuff. We should definitely head back. I'm definitely gonna have to get that grill up and running. Uh, I will go ahead from the air take out this uh, check para. From the air is. Yeah. Oh, we've been hampered. I'm gonna have to drop uh, probably the pelt, to be honest. It is the only thing I relatively don't need right now. That's not enough. Alright. Mm. I'll drop some stuff. Okay, there we go. That should definitely lighten the load, make it so we can more easily get back. Of course, it's gonna be the fun part. I need to stop in the swamp. To be honest, I'd rather take my chances with the swamp than take than fucking get knocked off. Cause that always pisses me off. At least with a swamp, you just need to look around. It's not like fucking... You have to make sure you don't fly anywhere near the trees. Okay. Let's see. Um... 
much longer will this take to get me home? It'll take a while, so why don't you sit back, relax, and oh my god! <laughs> Alright, there's a para, there's also you, which sucks. That will be fine. Just gotta get stamina back into you. And now we can go home. We don't have to worry, because we're not gonna go through the stupid trees. We'll make it back. Be able to drop off all of this fucking oil and hide in the cementing place. The electronics, everything else. Then we'll be able to actually craft the fucking chemistry station, probably. Oh uh, dear. So, here's what I'm thinking for in terms of those notes. I'm gonna just start off next time reading them. Because I definitely have been putting it off. And it's more been by accident than on purpose. Because I do actually want to read through all the new ones. Because I have not seen them before. And I know they can, pro uh, can provide some decent insight into stuff. So it's usually a good idea to grab them. We're going to find out what they have in them. In the middle. And of course, drop all of these guys. That would be useful for me, and then yes. So let me put it again. Oil, oil, oil. Hide, hide, hide. And then what was it? The metal first. There we go. Yeah, look, it literally cooked up everything while I was gone. So. Of course, this one, it's not even barely touched. So. Alright. So here is all of the cementing paste I'm going to need. I can drop, honestly, all these polymers in. Also help out. God, this is why again, to try not to itch my eye. Electronics and just polymer. Radiate, and then the composites. Yeah, let's just make a hundred of it. And once we get all of them, we don't have to worry. This thing, which would be so nice. And then the other one, you just need cementing paste, crystal, and metal ingots in the oil. So let me go ahead and grab these guys. Ah, that's fun. Okay, nope. I'm gonna have to figure out what I can drop off into other stuff. Because I'm definitely, definitely overweighted. Probably mainly gonna be the oil. But Crafting. 
cooking, it was just crystal. I think the problem is I need crystal for the other one first. Just metal, crystal, and cement. to also make because you'll need fuel and then just an electrical outlet. Carl, did I leave some wood on you? Amy. Nope. Doe. Do you have any wood? Nope. You're I'm definitely gonna actually name Doe. And then Dentist, do you have any wood? I don't suppose you have any wood? No. No, I do have a good game. Oops, sorry about that. I don't know if, like, muting came through, but... <clears throat> Crafting. You. Cooking. You. Cool. Oh, and Okay. Here's the fun part. If I can find the wire. I don't need the wood, I need just the wire. Now, if I go ahead. No, I need to. Ah, uh, shoot. Alright, okay, I'm not afraid to say it next time. Thank you guys for tuning in all that jazz. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and I'll see you guys next video. Other than that, have a great day.